INR32 Gaming real quick video for you today. Just wanted to let you know, I know it's been a little bit, but I appreciate your loyalty. So I had to highlight Javier Escuela, because who's the most loyal of the gang but him? He's unquestioning in his loyalty to Dutch, perhaps sometimes to a fault. And he is one of his most dependable recruits. Keep that in mind. I definitely appreciate you if you're subscribed to the channel. Thank you, family. We have more coming in the future from Lionheart32 Gaming. To be treated with some respect and affection. All them out there, they're laughing at me. You think this is the way to a man's affection? Moping and pestering all the damn day? Oh, I can do a lot worse than that. Is that a threat? Another great way to a man's affection. Oh, shut up! Gladly! What you reading, Dutch? Evelyn Miller, of course. <laughs> that old windbag. He's no windbag, son. He is a, a seer. He sees things that we don't know yet. I know, I'm just teasing. You're just afraid of opening your mind because you might not like what you find. You're probably right. You know, you know, you always had the most incredible way of putting things. Mr. Miller has a way of putting things. Me, I, I'm just an old outlaw, not prepared to go quietly. Oh, you're more than that, Dutch. You're... You're... Well, you're amazing. Good morning, Arthur. You okay there, boss? Are you still playing at Lawman, Arthur? Oh, shit! You come to arrest me, Morgan? You son of a bitch! What are you doing? Going fishing. The river's around here, famous for the smallmouth bass. Fella I met showed me a couple spots. You want to join me? Ah, I can't fish for you. You're far too good. Oh, come on, come on. Hey, join me. I'll show you a couple of my tricks. There's a spot not too far from here that I've been wanting to try out. Glad you're so excited about this. You will be too when you start pulling out smallmouth. Come on! The fish should be hungry for their breakfast. I thought you said it wasn't far. Too far to walk, though. So, yeah, come on. Arriba! <laughs> Yeah! Been a while since we rode out, just you and me. Probably since we went looking for John on the mountain. Uh, yeah. Already seems long ago. How you feel about everything? Oh, damn it! 
Been a strange couple of months. Hey, you know, I can't even return to my country because the price on my head is so big. This, this is nothing exactly new to me. And I'll always be loyal to Dutch. He sees the world the same as I do. If we have to fight, we fight. If we have to run, we'll run. If we must die, we'll die, but we'll stay free. In Dutch, you don't feel like, well, that he's doing things a little differently now? You saw what happened God with that girl it. on the ferry. No fight, good or bad, is won without blood. I know that better than most. I think too many people are focusing on Dutch when they should be looking at themselves, what they could have done better. Uh, maybe you're right. We'll cut through to the right here. Ah! The other day, I rode down to the Lanahatchee River. I caught some beautiful steelhead trout. You mean the Lanahatchee River? No, 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 no. The, the Lanahatchee. It runs right near here. Yeah, but it's pronounced Lanahatchee. Why is everything in English said differently than it's written? Make us feel stupid? Oh, you're asking the wrong feather. Okay, it's just down the hill here. Okay, come on. Let's go try our luck. Pretty country. <sighs> Beautiful. Come on, let's go see what's biting. You take this spot, Arthur. I'm going to cast for more the right there so we're not in each other's way. Time of day really can make a difference. They feed early morning or late evening because that's when the insects are more likely to be out. We're lucky we got such nice weather. But rain can be good. Sometimes big fish think the raindrops are insects. Well, I guess it's still relaxing, even if I don't catch anything. Sort of like... staring at the sky. It's your bait, I think. Come use some of mine. Oh, it's not the bait. It's me. I've always been a poor fisherman. Especially compared with you and Jose. Just try some of mine. Here. Crickets. Thanks. He's a fighter. Trick is let him tire himself out. There you go, Arthur. 
Okay, let's try for another. Don't rush it, Arthur. He's small, but might make a nice meal. Ah, oh, keeping you. It's almost noon. Fish will stop biting soon. Because of the bugs? Yeah, they only feed in the morning and evening when it's cool and the bugs are out. So maybe we try a few more and then head back. Fine with me. Another one. I was thinking. You remember that stagecoach we held up in Nevada? Yeah. It was a tip from that crooked lawman in Reno. We opened the door and it's full of women and children. Rich, but women and children. So we let it go and re read in the newspaper that the O'Driscolls robbed and killed them all the next day further down the trail. Yep. You know, way back day, Home O'Driscoll and Dutch were sort of friends. Friends? Well, not friends, but they had an understanding. Then Combs' mean streak got meaner, and Dutch... Dutch wanted to try to live a different way. And now, here we are. Another one. Come on. Look at that. That's a good looking fish. Well done. I heard people talk about a huge smallmouth in Lake Oangila, west of Strawberry, over in Big Valley. You need a lure to catch one that big, though. Another one. Another one. Pull to the left as he goes right. Good job, Arthur. Not bad, you see? It's the bait. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't just the bait. I'm gonna head back. You wanna join me, or, uh, you keep trying for these bastards? I'll come. Okay, let's go.